apparently Nick Merckx is getting cooked for some homophobic comments that he made. Uh oh. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I see that. Now uh, Call of Duty removed his operator. He had like a custom skin essentially in Call of mm-hmm. Duty, and that's taken down. Is it that hard to not fumble a bag in the Call of Duty community? Yeah. No, all you just gotta do is just shut the f- up. Like literally, I don't, I don't think people they really. Can. You got it's, it. it's harder when it's live when you do live content. live streams when you're a live streamer and you when you're a Call of Duty live streamer I will say those have been playing COD since they were 13 14 and they're going on their 30s now I'm not gonna obviously you should know that you have a bag you have a platform you should be aware of it but nigga old habits die hard I'm so I'm sorry to say that old habits five die hard. million dollars you would fuck up. Hmm? All right. Well, not I, purpose, I do agree with Omar. Obviously, here, Nick Merckx didn't purposely go out there and yes, be like, you no, know yes, what? He did. Yes, he did. No. Fuck up this bag. No, 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 no. He just fell no, 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 So what did he say, Omar? Do you know? What he, you know what the comments were? Yeah, it was a it was a Twitter tweet about what was it about? There there was an attack at an anti or at an LGBTQ because it's you know it's Pride Month. An attack at an LGBTQ um, parade rally whatever by some anti LGBTQ people. Mm-hmm. And so somebody said something, and then Nick Merckx responded, uh, "They shouldn't be going after our kids." Bezos, do you have it pulled up by the at, at the moment? I didn't. I didn't oh, I'm I'm trying to find. I didn't bring it up because I it was just so stupid. At at the end of the day, I was like, okay, I, I damn. He <laughs> said it was so stupid. I'm above it. Trash. I respect it. All right. Um. Yeah. This, this is the tweet. The inner. Thing says anti LGBT protesters attack pro LGBT demonstrators outside of Glendale, California. The school board is voting on recognizing June as Pride Month. And then the quote retweet says, This happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live your life. And then Nick replies to that saying, They should have, or they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. So I will say it wasn't in a live setting. Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on, and then and then right because it's not in a live setting. Then he doubles down on his live stream and says, and this is from Jake Lucky. I won't play the whole thing because it's three minutes. He says, uh, "It wasn't his intention to piss anyone off. Him and his wife uh, want to have those conversations with their own kids, and then he won't apologize because he doesn't believe it was wrong." So at that point, it gave you room. You doubled down. I don't think it's too again. If, if I'm that person and I'm not educated and I'm not educated or I go be- against beliefs that go against the grain of people that I know pull in massive branding and advertising dollars, like Call of Duty might have on their official Twitter a rainbow flag for the month. I wouldn't make any political stances if I was making $5 million a year from Call of Duty. Like, I would shut the fuck up. Niggas are not smart, bro. I don't know what to say. I'm, um, I mean... I'm not. He wasn't, he wasn't I'll give. He wasn't. He wasn't, li- he wasn't alive. But I mean, you gonna hate me? I don't think what he said was fucking wrong. I don't. It's not, it's not about what you believe. I if mean, that's you- fine. It's it's not about what I believe. But if in his mind, what he was saying, he didn't believe to be wrong, which he didn't. Then he goes on the stream and tries to clarify. All he meant was this, and he's not gonna apologize because he doesn't feel he said anything wrong. Did Call of Duty ask him to apologize, or was he replying to Twitter outroar, Twitter outcry? Was this him getting suspended and then trying to? I think it was just Twitter outcry and him making a uh, making a statement about it. I don't think the officials at Call of Duty or his representation hit him up and was like, "Hey, yo, potential bag about to be blown. They want you to apologize." And he told Activision he's not apologizing. I don't think that was the case. I think he's like, "Oh, to all these motherfuckers crying on Twitter, I don't think what I did was wrong." This I- nigga has a manager. He has an agent. He has. Somebody, what the, what the fuck they be calling them that that do brands? What is a, yeah, a manager? Type no, it's management. not. He just said he doesn't think that that shit should be around kids, which a lot of parents. Well, he's, saying, he's, saying, I, he's saying I'm saying shut up and dribble, typey. What I'm saying is that what he said? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's saying I'm saying shut up and dribble. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people are very uneducated. You are making generational money that you will never see again. Your your family will never see again. Like it will be 0.11, like oh 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 one percent for them to say it. I know niggas is gonna have issue with this. Niggas do not make that much money here. <laughs> don't the bag. That's all I'm simply saying. You can be whatever you want to be in a non bag fuck up setting. Nick, they didn't at Nick Merck's a. Oh my gosh, this was two minutes away from the Overwatch uh, apartment at Nick Merck's. What do you think? 
Nigga made it his his mission to go under the comments and say, "Hey man, they should just stay away from the kids." Management it's company, hey, 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 this is not looking good. Um, you should probably, you know, walk that back a little bit. Nick Merks, I ain't gonna lie, I'm doubling down. Fuck him. Well, I don't think so. So, so Sage, do you see what he said is? Really a problem? Like what he I'm said. The tweet confused itself? on what he. I'm still yeah, I, did, on what I ain't gonna lie. I kind of missed it. He Cause, said because I'm 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 just pulling it up. So the inner tweet says there was anti LGBT protesters attacking pro LGBT demonstrators outside of Glendale, California. The a quote retweet just says, "Yo, this shit happened four blocks away from my apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let you know, essentially, just leave people alone." Nick Merckx then says they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Who is who is they? The pro LGBT say, demonstrators? LGBT. They should. Yeah. He's basically along the side of they shouldn't be putting LGBT, uh, element of P, whatever it is, plus type of propaganda, whatever you see it as, in school towards children. They shouldn't be pushing it on kids. Is is what he's basically his stance is. Hey, smart. He, what was that? Done. Go ahead. Keep I going. just don't think it's. I take that should lose him like millions of dollars. It's not about what you think. That's not what, and that's not even a question. Do you see it as an issue? Do you see that as a problematic statement that he made? Mm. Yes or no? I mean, no, no, Sage. Not what do you think people will say? Do you personally see that as a problematic statement? I gotta see this shit now. Let me fucking pull the shit up, bro. God damn it, bro. I just be trying to chill, make thumbnails. Now I gotta get fucking woke. Fucking ten o'clock at night. Dumb because I'm just saying people have the belief that. They want to teach the kids Nick about Merch. it or don't push that on kids. Like, I don't, that's not the craziest, that's not a homophobic thing to say, in my opinion. I don't think that's crazy to say. All now, right. whether you agree with it or not is totally here or there, that's fine. But to say, oh, yeah, that's brand risk, that, that's brand risk is crazy to me. I don't think that's brand risk. Where it's not, but you, but you can't determine that it's brand yeah, risk yeah, because yeah. you are not paying Nick but Merckx. But Nick really Merckx didn't money. think it was no, brand no, risk no. worthy. He didn't think it was a brand risk. No, right. And that's, it. hey, I'm telling you right now, whether he thought it was, which would be dumb of him to not think it's brand risk. I don't think Nick Merckx is a novice. Especially on this yeah. month, bro. Yeah, it, he's not a novice. <laughs> right. But when he said what he said, I, I can guarantee you, Domo, his agent called him and said, yo, delete that and get on stream and, and apologize. <laughs> And he doubles down in it. Yes, he's a dumbass. Yes, he's. Dumb. I don't think he's a dumbass. Oh, okay. Just if, the, if the if the niggas if the niggas will, I'll say this: one, Nick Merckx makes plenty of money without the fucking brand deal of Call of Duty. So let's just throw that out the way. He makes plenty of money as is doing his own thing. If Nick Merckx felt, you know what, fuck that, I have my beliefs. I'm gonna stand on what the fuck I said because I don't think it's that wrong. I don't think he's a dumbass for doing that. He's standing on what the fuck he believes. In that sense, it is not something wild. Again, if you're standing on some wild shit. I agree with you. You're a dumbass. I don't think that's some wild shit. Nigga that he said that about the baby back. too. Hmm? Nigga said the same thing about the baby. Hey man, he's he's got a lot of he's got a lot of money, so it really doesn't matter. All right, when it rains, it pours. What what he said just looked mad random from what I'm looking at the tweet. If the all the context that needs to be have is essentially the attack that happened against the pro LGBT demonstrators. And then dude was like, that was near me, America's a sad place, and then him just bringing up kids and shit. It's well, just like a random thing. Is it necessarily the worst thing ever type? No. I mean, a lot of people have the argument that, hey, delete the kids out, da 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 that's its own debate. But um, now nah, it's just like okay. Like, like it's kind it's kind of like, what do you what do you it's one of them things that, like once you said it, it's like, what are you implying? So I see why he got I see why he got back. I mean, it's not even about what you're implying. The person above it, the tweet that he responded to, is saying Americans have a real big issue with not letting people love what they want to love. And his reply was, just don't push that shit on kids. Like, that's the real issue. You're pushing on kids the real issue. He wasn't devaluing the violent attack that happened at the goddamn, um, at the protest or junction, whatever it was. I don't got the thing in front of me. Whatever it was where the anti-gayers got, uh, they attacked the LGBTQ people. He wasn't saying, oh, no, that's fine. You shouldn't have been targeting kids. That's why you got beat up. That's not what he was saying. But if you're going to sit there and say, oh, yeah, you Americans, y'all got a real issue with just not letting people love who they love, but just don't. I, I don't think you should be pushing that shit on kids. That's a, that's a bigger issue than two different protest groups fighting. 
But again, during Pride Month, early Pride Month too, I can agree that definitely it was a time and place to think about your think about what you're saying. It's Pride Month. You should understand you being Nick Merch with this huge platform. Your words have power. Niggas is looking at you. I get that. I'm not going to call him a dumbass for fumbling a Call of Duty bag when he was just saying what the fuck he felt, which isn't a crazy thing. During Pride crazy. Month, talking and they're talking about an attack, and then you're talking about well, lay the kids out of it. That I I perceive that as somewhat devaluing it. Not that you're trying to make it like completely obsolete, but I think that's like a conversation shift. It's uh, it's just like why are we shifting that conversation type shit? But that's well, that's let me let me let me ask you this, Damo. Let's keep it a buck. Gets paid by Apple, ten million dollars a year to do the podcast on Apple. You just tweet some wild shit out there. Um, and we lose that bag. Or I, I, it doesn't have to be you. It could be Omar. It could be me. Whatever. One of us tweets out something crazy out there, and we fumble that bag. Specifically, a political tweet that honestly we could have just left alone that day and kept the pushing. You wouldn't look at one of us as a dumbass for fumbling if, the bag like if, that. If like, it's no, something that I, that if it's something I feel wasn't wild, no. If it's some, if Sage, oh, well, I'm not gonna say Sage. If Omar or you souls, y'all tweeted some shit that genuinely, I'm like, yeah, nigga, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't find an issue with that. I'm not gonna look at you like it's a dumbass. I'm gonna be like, hey, man, you know what the fuck we do, and you know who pay us, so you know the consequences. But I'm not gonna sit there and say, yeah, you're a dumbass for fucking up the bag. If I don't disagree with what you're saying, or I don't feel what you're saying is super wild. Now, niggas pushing anti-Semitic shit, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, no, nigga, we're not. That's fucking stupid. You're an but, idiot. But no, knowing stupid. it was an issue that I could have just left the fuck alone. Even if it's an issue that it's Twitter. Every tweet you could just not tweet. You could scroll past. I've had that take. You don't have to reply to everything. But I'm not gonna call you a dumbass. You're using Twitter how you feel. You you you're using Twitter. You seen a fucking tweet, so you retweet, so you quote tweet, so you reply. That's what Twitter's for. At the end of the day, you're just giving your opinion. That's your platform. That's your fucking Twitter. If I don't disagree with the message, I'm not gonna call you a dumbass. If you reply with something that I genuinely disagree with and it costs us a bag, I'm gonna call you a dumbass on the next pod. Maybe I'm taking this situation. <laughs> maybe I'm ten million dollars. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm taking this situation. Wait, maybe I'm wait, we, taking this situation. Way too money, laterally. But again, if I don't disagree, I'm not going to call you a dumb. Again, am I going to call you a dumbass? No, if I don't disagree. It. Someone correct me if I'm taking this situation way too laterally. But if essentially LeBron was the sole proprying propri- payment for the podcast, and one of you tweeted, "Yo, LeBron, you fucking suck," and the nigga stopped paying us. Yes, I would look at one of you like you're an idiot, 100. <laughs> percent I, I, so, I literally think it's that. Is, if that's what it's it, if that's what we're talking about, yeah, I, I look at one of you like you're an idiot. But I'd be like, if that's not what it is, that. that's so, crazy. But. The fuck, nigga, you can't take a little bit of criticism, nigga. <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> nigga said you sucking, you about to blow back, nigga. You a bitch. And I'm still, and I'm still gonna be oh. like, yo, yo, yeah. souls. I, I, I appreciate you being I'm on my side, now. but if I tweeted, that, if I tweet LeBron, you suck, and that nigga directly was paying us. Yeah, I'm. You can be my dog, and we're both stupid. <laughs> we are both stupid. Hey, I'm a stupid dog with you. 